Hello, I have a doll haul for you today. All of this stuff is like secondhand stuff. Um, Mercari, eBay, and a thrift store. So, I'll show you what I found at the thrift store. <laughs> the little thrift store in my town. Um, I check there once in a while. They usually don't have much, but um, lo and behold, my scene Roller Girls McDonald's toy. She was 50 cents. Um, I don't like intentionally collect these. I've never actually found one before. So, um, yeah, I think she's cute. She's got roller skates on her hairs, like in nice condition for an old McDonald's toy. Um, yeah, and she has this feature where she can put her helmet on or hold it down and her head turns. So she put her helmet on. <laughs> it's stuck in her hands though, but cute. I think it's Madison. Looks like a Madison to me. But, yeah. So, let's put her there. Oh, she's not going to stand. I'm going to have to aim this down a little bit. Because all of the stuff is just going to be kind of down here. And then, this is a lot. Um, I think I found this lot on Mercari. It's like a cat lot. And, you know, um, I've been watching my hauls lately. I'm a little into cats. I mean, I've always been into cats. But, dump it all out here. So it came with the cutie reveal cat like suit costume, um, which I haven't got any of these. Uh, there's no doll with it, which is fine. I don't care. But it came with everything for it, like the paws even. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. It's kind of cute. So, yeah. Cutie reveal. But that's not the reason why I bought the lot. It also came with a bunch of tiny cats like in cat beds um well that one's flocked that one must be from like the um the little mystery sorry mystery bag pets and i always wanted the cat ones but there's more dog ones but this one is a cat one oh, just dropped her so i think i'll i'll keep her probably and then there's just these other little silly cats that probably were like in a barbie set they're all kind of similar. Little gray kittens. Put them on this bed. And there is this, which, yeah, I think that's a cat. This one might be a dog. And then this little kitty. This one's cute. It still has, like, attachment. It looks like a Barbie extra kitty, but I'm not sure I don't have all the Barbie extras. But I feel like I have a cat like this. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, it's right behind me on the shelf. I have this kitty. So they're similar, different colors, different colored crowns, but I like that one. Little kitties are cute. Ooh, ooh. Then this Barbie extra pet was thrown in. It looks like it is a cat. That's cute. And then a ball of yarn and another like cat bed thing um okay who should we show first oh there's one more this cat has kind of a weird face okay now there are two that i bought the lot for do you recognize this this vintage made in taiwan taiwan um this is Fluff the Cat at her bed and scratching post. And here she is. She's vintage Fluff the Cat. Barbie's cat. She's got these piercing green eyes. So she's supposed to be a white fluffy kitty. But all her flocking has been rubbed off sadly. This lot was pretty cheap though. And there's another cat in there that I want to do. So um, I'll probably look for another Fluff that's in better shape. But it was cool to get uh, some of her pieces. So, and then she has the little, um, Velcro so that she can, you know, stick to her post or she can go like this on the side of it and scratch. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, but yeah, like that. Be scratching her post. And the other major reason that I bought the lot was for Marshmallow. So, I have Marshmallow the cat. She's new in box, um, with my Barbie that I got years ago when she first came out it was in college so I kept her in the box and uh 
I've often wanted to take marshmallow out just to have her, you know, but I didn't want to open the box. So um, I found one and she's actually pretty common to find. So um, she seems to be in good condition. So I'll give her a little bath. She has her little collar and yeah, marshmallow the kitty. Isn't she cute? So she, she could sit in fluffs, a uh, little cat bed there. Okay, another lot. This is just a micing shoe lot off of Mercari. Not too exciting. Um, but the seller offered me a good deal. Um, there was a couple pairs of micing shoes that I don't think that I have. And I don't find micing boys that often. But I have found a few at thrift stores. They both had their shoes though. But just in case, um, if I find some more micing boys that need shoes... Um, some things everywhere. So it's that black and red pair, that black and gold pair. This pair, I don't like these, but, you know. And this pair's weird. Are they like soccer cleats? Okay. And I don't like these slides either, but it's fine. It was a cheap lot. Just got some Mycene Boy shoes. Okay. This was off of eBay. They were doing an auction starting at 99 cents and so it went up to like, I don't know, $4.25. This is a Mycene fashion pack and it's not all the pieces of it. Um, but for $4.25, I thought I would get it. It's so cute. It's like this little skirt, a little gingham top, and a little um, like sheer white mesh lacy, I don't know how to describe it, top. And then it's, it's, the fashion pack also came with these sock things and then shoes, but they, there was only one sock, so it's fine. It's cute. Okay. Then this lot was on Mercari also. Look at that. 80s Barbie pink. Can you guess? Do you know? If you know, you know. It was a Barbie and the Rockers lot. Here, let me hang this down a tiny bit more. So, I bought this lot for this top. Because when I was a kid, I had the Barbies and the Rockers. I remember buying her. Um, she was one of my favorites. And this was my favorite top. And everybody wore it all the time. And I think it got ripped in half. Um, so, I was really excited to find the top. So, I can give that back to her. These, not 100% sure who they go to. Is it Midge? Or the Barbie and the Rocker that wears the orange one that's red haired but not Midge. Then there's these pants that look like Barbie and the Rocker pants, but my Barbie and the Rocker pants, the stripes go this way. So I'm not 100% sure. Maybe there was variations. And then there's the Barbie and the Rocker's pink jacket. I have two of these. I have my original one and then one that I got in a lot. And then there was two of these Rocker, Barbie and the Rocker tops. I don't have this version of the Barbie and the Rockers. Um, but And then there was three of these Barbie and the Rocker t-shirts. So, And sadly, they're all a victim of the star part, like peeling peeling up a little bit but that was super cool so let me grab my Barbie and the Rockers real quick all right I got them so this one is my childhood Barbie and the Rockers I remember buying her at the little local store um so her hair is it's not in the best shape because I played with it so much and honestly her hair was horrible I did not know how to take care of it as a kid um but it's okay. And then she has on, she came with that piece. This is her original jacket. That's her original shirt. This is her skirt. Now, the pleathery material on this does that peely, dry, rotty thing. So I soaked it in OxyClean and got all that off so that way I could preserve the skirt. I wish I would have knew that technique before I threw away some of my other pieces that were made out of that. Same with these. I soaked them, bleached them to try to get, because these are her little boot covers still a little bit yellowed but I'm not sure what else I could do these are her pretty sure these are her original little shoes 
The look was cooler when it was pleather. But see, here's her leggings. They're a little red, a little bit of a pull there. But see how they're different from these? So these are cool, but I'm not, you know, 100% sure these are rockers. But I'm so excited to wash this top up and put it on her. So then I also have two more that I've uh, thrifted. And I can't remember what order I got them in. Um, I probably, back in a video, there's a haul. This doll's hair is a little bit better condition. Um, I think I got her in a lot, in a big bin of Barbies off of Facebook Marketplace maybe a couple years ago. Um, I remember I saw her in the picture and she had her bracelet on. Um, I don't think it was this one. Look how their makeup is slightly different. I think I did a video a long time on the differences because I think they might be different different um country makes um yeah because there's the bracelet on that one i'm not sure i think this is the one i found that and then i think this one i got in a lot of like five vintage barbies off of ebay maybe so she has a jacket on and then i just put her in some clothes that just kind of match the, the rocker mm, theme i guess same with her um her hair is in the is in the best condition of the group. Super curly still. Um, and I just put her in. I believe this is like All Star Barbie's outfit, which now I have an All Star Barbie again. So I just probably should have put this on her. But now that I have all this rocker stuff, I think I might try to put on them. And then I brought over my midges just to show. I mean, at least they're midges. But was her name different as a rocker? I honestly don't remember <laughs> was it diva or something um but this is the one that goes with this set because she has that like dance where her arms would like do something both of them do um so they're so cute i love love their curly curly hair but yeah so she i think this is her outfit i'm not sure not 100% sure. And I can't remember where I got her. Did I find her at like a garage sale or something? No, those are not her original shoes. But So whose were these then? Are those supposed to be hers? I should look up her outfit. See, and those are not her earrings. I think those are, yeah, I think whoever owned her put those in. She's probably supposed to have green. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. But anyways, that's kind of just some cool Barbie and the Rocker stuff. I love that line. It's so nostalgic to me. I wish that I had more of them, but that's my doll haul and thanks for watching.